People's Self-Defense Forces took the Donetsk airport. So-called Ukrainian cyborgs fled. Ukrainian armed forces have pulled their units out of the airport, although separate army groupings remain deployed in its vicinity, the press service of the Defense Ministry of the Donetsk People's Republic said on Wednesday. Flags of Novorossiya raised under the terminals of Donetsk airport. Alexander Zakharchenko, leader of the Donetsk People's Republic, has invited Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko for talks at the Republic's airport that has just recently been freed from Ukrainian military forces. I officially invite Petro Poroshenko to the airport in Donetsk. He is the commander-in-chief of the Ukrainian Armed Forces and its president of Ukraine, and as a leader, he is obligated to think about his citizens. I'm ready to talk about anything in order to stop the slaughter. The Ukrainian military forces' losses are simply outrageous, Alexander Zakharchenko said at a press conference in the Republic's capital of Donetsk. We will sit at the negotiations table right there in the airport. We will sit in the new terminal, have tea and talk, Zaharchenko said. But Petro Poroshenko opted out because he's too scared for talking with Zaharchenko at a former battlefield. Same time, Ukrainian media report that a whole bunch of Kadyrov's men have been captured in the Donetsk airport, the soldiers of Ramzan Kadyrov's guards. Also, more than 250 Russian soldiers have been killed in the fighting. However, there is neither a video record nor at least a photo of this epic Ukrainian victory. In this connection, we have a little appeal to the Ukrainian military. We know we cannot teach you not to conduct mass shellings of residential districts, heinous tortures of POVs and robberies of civilians. That is why we are not going to ask you for for much. We'll ask you for just a little bit. If you have captured Kadyrov's personal guards, including his pet tiger, trashed 400 Gerus Petsnaz soldiers in exoskeletons with cloaking devices and jetpacks, burned 58 latest Russians Armata robot tanks, and also in the meantime sank two strategic nuclear submarines of the Russian Northern Fleet. You just pull out your mobile phone and record a video with your great heroic deed. After this, your epic Ukrainian win is duly registered and confirmed. No video, no epic victory. If your commanders forbid you to carry mobile phones, buy cheap cameras without mobile connection options, or ask the USA to send them in another aid package for the young Ukrainian democracy. Epic Ukrainian wins cannot be confirmed without videos, because you've already learned to doctor pictures in Photoshop. Moreover, we are so mean and so cynical that we consider epic Ukrainian wins planes lie. Besides, it would be just great if you stopped bombing residential blocks, torturing prisoners and robbing civilians. But you can start by making little step by little step. Like taking duckface selfies against the background of burning Armata tanks with Spetsnaz from Chechnya inside. Any schoolgirl can do this here. You aren't more stupid than a schoolgirl, are you? Here's a very clear illustration of this. A burned down column of the latest Russian armor in Gorlovka. Immediately after the hits of Ukrainian shells, Russian transformer tanks changed their shape into a convenience store building, disguising themselves better than Megatron ever could. Ukrainian military. Why are you so upset? Do you not like our appeal? Don't worry. Fly to visit Donetsk. We will have a good conversation and a fun... Oh, you can. You have in the airport. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.